This video is brought to you by Pixelspinach.com. Pixelspinach.com. Muscle for your media. Muscle for your memories. Thanks for joining us here at Pixelspinach.com. Uh, what you're looking at right here is a group of various batteries that go in various uh, cameras and camcorders. And if you're like me, uh, you've I've been extremely disappointed, if not outright angry, uh, when you've gone to an event, whether it's a football game or a recital or whatever, and you did your duty, you charged up not only one, but multiple batteries, and um, you've run out of juice, or in the case when these things get old, they show that they have a full charge on them, maybe they have... 48 minutes left on a battery and then all of a sudden it shows one minute remaining and then it's dead. Uh, the one thing that is certain about batteries, whether, whether the OEM batteries or uh, aftermarket third-party brand uh, batteries, they are going to disappoint you uh, no matter how much you prepare. And even if you have spare batteries, there's nothing worse than missing uh, a play in football or baseball or part of a recital or what have you uh, to switch out to another battery. Um, that's the reason uh, I got a little creative and developed this in my garage. This is my lineup of power packs. Um, I guess sometime, someday I'll put them on eBay or something and make them available to those who don't want to make their own. Uh, we'll call them Pixel Spinach Power Packs. This is my little uh, fleet here. I have three uh, different kinds. Um, I used to be the only person that videoed the games um, over the years. Luckily, I have some other parents that have volunteered to shoot different games. Uh, it's nothing worse than when you have two kids games in different places same time can't be two places at once uh, it's nice to not only give somebody or loan a camera out but uh, be assured that they're not going to have uh, power issues battery issues uh, uh, when they help you out so let me show you what's inside one of these things or, or first what's on the outside and then what's on the inside I have two different styles here uh, this is the one I did first, uh, which is basically a Coleman brand uh, cooler I think I got at Academy. And then I took a uh, an inverter. This is a 500 watt inverter, which I think is probably overkill, but um, you could get away with a lot less. But uh, this was a marine grade, which I think it can take a little bit of sprinkle, a little bit of water. I'm not sure how much, but I thought it was interesting. And then I took uh, stainless uh, screws, and it has brackets, and I just screwed that thing straight onto the top of that uh, cooler lid. You don't have to use stainless, but if you're in a close to the coast or in a, a rust, uh, potentially rusty area, um, you might want to use uh, stainless. Uh, lately, I've bought a couple of these. This is a Plano, a P-L-A-N-O, Plano ammo box, uh, also pick this up at Academy. I think they run uh, under 10 bucks, $7.95 or something. Um, a little different style inverter. Uh, I think the brand is Voltec here. Uh, the brand on the other one is Rally. I've been happy with both. I'm not sure of the uh, wattage on this. And I simply took some uh, Goop, G-O-O-P. Uh, I like Marine Goop just because I use it on marine applications and if I have any left over I can use it for other things but you could probably get the regular goop or some other sort of epoxy or maybe even super glue but uh, goop works good for me so that's uh, just simply epoxied onto the side of the Plano box and that's what's holding that inverter on so a screw in screw on top or I guess you could screw it on the side or epoxy mount. And the last little piece I uh, almost forgot is a hole you have to drill. 
Uh, not too big of a hole, but you'll see a hole drilled in the side here to put the uh, battery cables uh, through so they go uh, inside. So I did that one on the side, and on this one I just drilled a hole uh, in the top to put those uh, cables through. But in both cases, um, they have the uh, outlets to plug in your regular uh, charger. This rally one also has a, uh, there it is, a USB port as well. So let's take a look inside. We'll take a look inside this, uh, this Plano box first. Pretty simple. Uh, the main thing that's in here is a 12 volt uh, sealed battery. Uh, this particular brand is Wasa, I guess you would pronounce it. 12 volt. Um, what is that? Seven amps, seven amperes, whatever. Um, sealed battery. Uh, if you have used, these are also available at Academy as well as uh, Walmart and uh, a lot of feed stores that sell uh, corn feeders. Uh, this would be a typical battery used in a timer or a thrower on a feeder. Uh, about uh, 20 bucks would be a decent price on these. They go on up. You might find yours cheaper. But that's just sitting in the bottom there. And then what I would do is I, I keep this uh, one negative attached to the cable there so that they don't move around and touch each other. I'm going to connect that to the negative, the other one to the positive. And I don't know if you can hear that, but it just powered up. My inverter did. If it doesn't power up, there's a power button on it. And then I could take my camera just to show you in my power, su power supply. I'm going to put my power supply straight into the inverter. A little tangle here, but uh, just plug the other one into my power port. And if everything goes well, I should be able to power up that camera. And there it goes. I can't tell you how long this will last. I've used these for three football games without putting a charge back on them. I don't like to go more than that, although I've never actually tested to see how much charge was left. But you're going to need to invest in a uh, trickle charger. Um, I'll throw these uh, sealed batteries on the trickle charger periodically and, and get a good one that will uh, automatically shut off or go into standby mode when, it, when there's a full charge so you don't uh, burn it up uh, with an overcharge. But if we look in inside uh, the other one, it's the same thing, just a different style box. Again, a Coleman cooler with the rally inverter. We open up the lid, We've got my sealed battery, the same cables. And as you'll notice, this one was ready to go. So I could literally hand this one over or leave it on my front porch for somebody to pick up that was going to film the game. Inside that is their battery ready to go. Uh, a camcorder with the SD card already formatted, clean, and ready to go. Uh, depending on what kind of camera you have, you might need a separate uh, tripod mount. The charger cord that goes with um, that camera. And really, you would just need to uh, hand that over to them as well as a tripod. So pretty easy. Just the box and a tripod to take to the game. In both my examples, you know, this one has a nice carrying handle on it, uh, as does this other one I showed you first. The, the Plano box has a nice handle. You just grab and go. The good latch. And that's pretty much it, um, except for the uh, trickle charger. I'll show you uh, the one that I use. I actually have a couple, uh, but you can find them just about anywhere. Walmart, Academy, uh, online. Let's take a look at those real quick. As far as trickle chargers, um, this is my personal choice. Uh, the brand is called Battery Tender. Um, it's automatic. This is just a uh, wall plug-in. It's got a, uh, a fuse, and then you've got your positive and negative. So um, 
Uh, I don't remember what this costs, but uh, I get I get mine on Amazon.com. You could probably find these uh, other places as well. Another brand that's uh, pretty good is uh, Schumacher. Some people may pronounce that Shoemaker, but this is a Schumacher Speed Charger 1.5. Uh, a little more expensive, wish I had the pricing, but you can look that up online. But the same thing, just it's a trickle charger with the positive and neg negative connections. And uh, you'll just put that on your uh, sealed battery uh, to put a nice uh, charge on it uh, that won't overcharge. It'll uh, stop short of uh, burning it up. So that's pretty much it. That's the, uh, the uh, power pack. And uh, it sure does come in handy. I've enjoyed it. It uh, takes a lot of frustration out of what should be a pleasurable experience. And uh, hope you have fun making yours.